When I jumped on board and started doing this with you guys, it was because I could never imagine being on the other side of the table, and I can't imagine, but this year it hits home pretty darn hard to West High. Because our very own Austin Schrader, a freshman here, is battling. He's battling hard and he's gonna kick this. He's gonna kick it in the ass. <laughs> out of him um, as far as believing and winning the day and how every moment counts. I would like to give it over to Craig Schrader, Austin's dad, here with his brother Codes and his sister Haley. Craig, thank you. want to uh, take just a few minutes um, and say a few things. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. I'm so happy to see his face and allow him to see your guys' face. Um, for those that uh, may have heard me talk before, um, there'll be a few things that you'll hear over again, but I, I think it's fair to, to give you base, guys a, a recap of, of our little journey, and then I'll say a few other words after that. Um, March spring break in Mexico, uh, we found a, a large uh, a lump uh, in his groin and uh, had a little scrape in his foot and we came back. We, uh, the doctors already thought that uh, he had an infection. Um, and so he was treated for that and, and had a bad reaction after about a week and then started having really, really bad knee pain. Um, and uh, the kind of knee pain that when you're sitting there is just throbbing in school. Uh, so uh, a week later, uh, when that happened, we took him in for some additional x-rays. And uh, unfortunately, they thought that it wasn't very, very good. It might not be an infection. On, uh, on April uh, 14th, uh, we found out that day when he took, had biopsies um, of, the, uh, of the bone marrow and everything else of his knee and his groin, that uh, it was cancer. Um, one of the worst things that you uh, can imagine hearing as anybody, as a father, as a mother, as a brother and sister, realizing Flash has cancer. So what does that mean? Um, knowing that that is going to be a tough road, um, and we started that journey in April. And for the first month, uh, he uh, went on chemotherapy, and it was a tough month. It was a month that he didn't really sleep. Uh, he was in so much pain because the uh, size of the cancer cells in his stomach and his chest and his knee uh, were probably more the size of baseballs. And so for one month he didn't sleep and didn't get much uh, rest at all. And uh, we found out uh, after that first 30 days that um, the chemotherapy wasn't working. In fact, uh, the cancer was getting worse. Um, so something, again, we did not want to hear and it was a very, very struggle for us to to take in. Uh, we started a new regimen, which was typically non-standard for, uh, which involved bigger drugs. And then immediately we saw some results. Uh, the golf ball in his groin started to shrink for the first time ever. And we started having a lot more hope that things were working. And uh, that went on for a, a few weeks. And on day 16 of 20 treatment, uh, he had a really, really bad side effect, which allowed him to uh, have trouble speaking. So we had to discontinue that. And we had more scans, and unfortunately there was still more cancer left in his knee. But we had a choice, and the choice was to go through with the bone marrow transplant. Um, so in mid-July, uh, we, uh, we went through the transplant. And it was a tough, tough thing. Um, if you imagine having the worst flu of your life and have that carry on for about one month, um, and that's really what it kind of is. It, the chemo completely wipes out every single cell inside of your marrow and everything else, and they inject new ones into you and hope that it starts to take a hold and starts to work. And that's what we did. And uh, he flew through the transplant, um, not quicker than ever, the, the quickest than anybody else, but very, very fast and very, very good. Um, very, very determined as he went through this. 
We came home in mid-August, and like anything else, his now his freshman year is online school. Uh, because of his immune system is so low, and he takes several drugs to suppress that immune system, he can't be around anybody. Uh, so we started online school, and uh, came up to uh, the 100 pre-100 days right before Halloween. And I was here speaking to some of you here at that event. Halloween was day 100. We woke up. We were excited. We all made Fight With Flash t-shirts that said Big 100 on it. This was going to be one of our best days ever. But he woke up sick. And so uh, we uh, spent the next week... He was still at home, and uh, things got really, really, really bad. Um, he had a seizure on a Sunday morning and had to be taken by ambulance to the hospital, and we knew that this was not a good thing. We found out uh, in the first week of November that uh, the cancer had relapsed, that it came back. And not only did it come back, that it spread. It spread into his CNS fluid around his brain and his spinal fluid, and also into his bone marrow which were the two areas when this all happened in April, they said that they didn't want to have them. So for another time in our lives, we are now hearing something that we don't want to hear. And unfortunately it was worse than the first time, worse than the second time. So he spent a couple of different times, weeks in the intensive care unit, but he stayed strong and battled through. We've been in the hospital uh, basically until from November 1st up until about two days from the new year. And we've been home ever since. And uh, every single day is, is a struggle. It is a 24-7 care for him. He is plugging away. Love to see his smile today, which is great. We have a lot of good days and we have a lot of bad days. But we're still sitting here right now going through taking chemo every single day and radiation every single day. And hopefully uh, in the next couple of months we'll be able to get some more scans, a PET scan and a bone marrow um, biopsy scan. And hopefully we'll get him to remission. That's what we need to do. Our goal is a little abnormal, is that we're actually praying to go back and have another bone marrow biopsy or transplant and do this all over again. So that is what we our goal is, that this chemo works, gets it out of his body completely, and keeps it out there for a couple of months until we can go back in the hospital and have another transplant. And have break him all the way down to nothing all over again, and then start building him back up with someone else's cells. And hopefully this time, after that happens, that those new cells in his body are going to be strong enough when the cancer wants to come back to kill it itself. So that's what we will be doing. So our goal is to get to that, which means a lot more online school, but unfortunately it means missing out on a lot of things that he's already given up and missing out again for a little bit longer period. So that's where we're at. What I'd like to say a little bit about is win the day. <coughs> Who here has heard of win the day? Okay. <laughs> win the day. Win the day means a lot of things and it can mean anything to anybody. Um, it started with me several years ago with Flash's baseball team talking about win the day. When you realize when you have your son who strikes out and puts his head down and pouts, realizing that that is not a good thing. It's adversity, right? We all face adversity every single day. Sometimes it's in the classroom. Sometimes it's with a friend. It's never with a teacher, right? Never. Never. It's never with a parent. Bless you. It's never with your parents or your brothers and sisters, right? But when the day I talk to the kids, about giving us your best effort. At the end of the day, I always like to win. I never like to lose. But as a coach, I always wanted to talk to kids about, just give me your best effort. There's two things you can control when, things, when something bad happens. That's your attitude and that's your effort. Who here by the raise your hand has had something bad happen to you or a family member? And I'm not saying cancer, any little thing, right? Bad things happen to all of us. 
It happens to each and every one of us, or a family member, or a really good friend. And what can we do when that happens? We can help out, right? Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it's sad, but we need to stop and take a deep breath and be thankful in this situation that we can help and there's things that we can do. When the day is all, always given your best effort, every class that you're in, every test that you're going to take, every chore that you have to do at home when your parents ask you to do something, do it, listen, do it right the first time so that you don't have to redo it or get yelled at, right? If you have a job or anything else, you have a task at school, when you go to practice, no matter what sport it is, you just go to practice and go through the motions. Or are you there to work and get better? Are you pushing yourself to give your best effort? Are you a really good teammate? At the end of the day, is the coach proud of you on what type of a person you are becoming? Are you a good teammate to people? That's where Win the Day all kind of started and gone through from where we're at. Win the Day for us has taken on a little bit different meaning. We've had extremely bad days, extremely bad weeks. But we are the ones that get to decide what is a win. Sometimes it's getting up out of bed and we're able to walk a mile. That's a win, right? We're getting stronger. The doctor wants us to drink at least three liters of water today. And we drink three and a half. That's a win, right? That's easy. There's a goal set and we, and we were able to do it. But there's some days that we're so sick that we can't eat because we're sick. We're throwing up. There's some days that we're so weak because of all the chemo drugs. Basically takes all of our muscles away and we can't even stand and walk on our own. So how do we judge what a win is? Well, that win is up to the flash, what that win is all about. And we talk about things, about things could always be worse. He might nod his head when we were in the transplant in August. There were four boys that unfortunately were killed in a gator accident in Piasta, Iowa. And I turned to flash and I said, things could be worse. I know we're here in the hospital. I know you're sicker than a dog. This sucks. It's not fair. But you're still here. You're here. I'm right next to you, and we're fighting. We get to tell each other that we love each other today. We get to pray. We get to fight. And we get to hug. We get to laugh. The simplest things can be a win. Because when we're faced in a situation like this, there's only one thing that we can do, and that's to keep fighting and praying and beating it. That's it. There is no giving up. And so every day for us, we find the things that we need to do to make sure that we win. There's one thing I want to tell, especially since Flash is on today, is I want to tell him thank you. It's hard going through this to always express exactly what you're feeling and thinking. But he is making me a better dad and he's making me a better person. Watching him go through this and the way he goes through it makes me stronger. It makes me feel a lot more emotion than I ever did before. It makes me stop and realize what's important. It makes us stop and be thankful that we still get to go and play basketball today, didn't we, Kiki? Her team, one of the Thunder teams, won the tournament in their age group. That was awesome. As much as winning the tournament, which is so great, the most important thing that we talk about is being thankful that we even get to get on that court and play. Play with your friends. Smile, laugh, have fun, and compete. Because remember, when bad things are happening to you, take a deep breath, realize what's important. Remember there's always going to be a kid somewhere close by you that doesn't get to do any of those things. There's a kid that's fighting for his life every single day. And that's the ultimate thing. 
I couldn't be more proud of him. Some days I wonder how in the heck he can even do it. But the kid's a fighter. Bell here in the audience said one, one thing to me when this early happened. God gives his strongest soldiers his toughest battles. And I'm telling you, he's one strong kid. to say is thank you to you guys. Thank you. People text me, they might call me or email me, and they say, Craig, I don't know what to say. I wish I could do more. I don't know what to do. I don't want to bother you. I tell you what, every text I get makes me feel good. It makes me feel 